Welcome to the Premier Surgical Oncology patient video series. I am Dr. James Ouellette, and I'm here to represent Premier Surgical Oncology as we review some of the more common operations discussed with our patients in our practice of complex surgical oncology. Because of the complex nature of many of these operations, we believe making these videos uh, for reference will help both patients and families uh, as they travel this very difficult journey. Please remember that the information presented is for general uh, information. All specific questions should be directed to your surgeon. Also, we make note of potential risks and complications of procedures. This can never be a complete list due to the unpredictable nature of disease, especially in cancer, and the underlying conditions that each patient has at the time of their presentation. Please remember, there are always risks associated with surgery. This is inherent with any operation. They can include bleeding, infection, potential injury to surrounding organs, risk of the anesthesia needed for each operation, or even death. Some specific potential complications for each operation may be discussed in the following video series. It is very important for you to discuss this with your surgeon, especially if you have any specific questions. Please remember we always do our best to avoid any potential complications relating to your surgery. At Premier Surgical Oncology, we use a multidisciplinary approach in order to provide each patient with an individualized treatment plan with all the necessary specialists to help provide the most personalized approach for you and your loved ones. We look forward to making your difficult journey as manageable as possible. Thank you again for your interest and trusting Premier Health with your cancer care. In this video, we will discuss liver resection. We will speak about both right and left types of liver resection. The type of surgery that's recommended really depends on the location of the tumor and the tumor's relation to the major blood vessels that run through the liver. The blood vessels do run alongside the bile ducts. When planning for a surgical resection, this can be a very complex surgery, and it is important to have an experienced surgeon who is comfortable uh, doing these operations. Some of these surgeries can be done with minimally invasive surgery. Others are not as amenable to that approach. At Premier Surgical Oncology, we will do our best to help explain to you why we believe the operation you have been recommended is the optimal approach to your specific case. Typically, we will use intraoperative ultrasound to help investigate the remaining portions of the liver. This will be done to ensure that there are no other areas that need to be addressed at the same operation. We may also use ultrasound to guide the planned resection, and this is done in order to optimize our ability to obtain negative margins, a very important factor in cancer surgery. Any major liver surgery may involve the removal of the gallbladder if it is still present, and this is done sometimes so that we can work in the appropriate plane. Now I'm going to show you the different types of resections that you may hear about at your office visit. If, for instance, your tumor is on the right side of the liver, we may have to remove the entire right side. As we do this and as we plan for this, again, even whether this is minimally invasive or open surgery, what we may do is use this uh, approach and we will typically come through the liver in a straightforward fashion from really front to back. This allows us to remove this entire section, again, along with the gallbladder in this particular situation, and allows us to remove the tumor with a negative margin. To demonstrate why it is important to be cautious during liver surgery, um, this, this uh, illustration shows you the network of blood vessels and bile ducts that run through uh, like an extensive uh, network uh, through the liver. To demonstrate a left side a liver resection, if the tumor is present on the left side of the liver, and we'll make sure we've designated here right and left, and on the left side of the liver, uh, what we'll see is in order to remove the tumor that is sitting inside this left side, uh, we will take an approach that removes and cuts through the liver in this plane. <clears throat> that allows us to again take out this uh, left side of the liver 
in order to remove the tumor with an appropriate margin. There will be times, or there can be times, depending on the disease process, where there can be multiple tumors. For instance, someone has a tumor here, maybe even also up at the top of the right side. In order to allow a proper uh, surgical approach to this type of uh, tumor, uh, we would employ potentially different techniques. In this situation, for instance, we may perform a smaller resection of this right side, a resection of this left side, uh, and then, if possible, an additional resection could be performed. As an alternative, sometimes we will use ablation, which entails putting a heated needle inside the tumor and then, and then creating a, uh, a burn around the tumor itself and a little bit of the normal tissue in order to simulate what we do when we remove this area of the liver. Ablation will be specifically discussed in another video. Please remember that with any surgery, and especially complex cancer surgery, there are certain risks that can be unavoidable. These can include bleeding, infection, injury to surrounding organs, the risk of the needed anesthesia for the operation, and even death. Some of the specific potential complications for each operation may be discussed in the following video series. However, these should be discussed with your surgeon at the time of your visit. Please remember, we always do our best to avoid complications as well as problems related to your surgery. Unfortunately, that is inherent in all operations. Thank you for choosing Premier Health and Premier Surgical Oncology to assist in the health of you and your loved ones.